Morning all, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe. It is Monday, July the 27th, 2020, the start of a new week. We've got plenty to get through today, so let's get right to it. <laughs> US cases yesterday, just over 56,000, that's the lowest since July the 7th. Deaths were just over 450, so they're still trending up. But, you know, we get cases first, then hospitalizations, then deaths, so maybe good news. In Florida cases 9,300 that's the lowest since July the 14th better news there deaths were 77 although they do report less over the weekend but and they've been trending up since July the 7th so again cases hopefully trending down hospitalizations and deaths still trending up but let's see how, how far the cases get down um, Florida ranked number one again yesterday even though we had 9,300 still in front of others and Orange County actually ranked number six, so good, better news actually for, for Orange County. Stats, 63,000 cases this week with one day to go. So that's actually looking better than it has for the last couple of weeks. Unless we get 12,500 today, that's going to be lower than it has been for the last couple of weeks. Hospitalizations are already a record and deaths will be a record unless we get very, very few, less than 12 today. Otherwise, that's going to be a new record. But, you know, cases this week, looking a little bit better just a little bit um, ICU beds better again uh, 12 uh, 1140 adult just over 250 pediatric for a total of 1400 which is 130 better than it was on Saturday so again better news for ICU beds the R rate for Florida is now 0.99 so that's gone up very very slightly but still under one Florida's gone down one place in the rankings still number 10 and there are still 12 states with an R rating of under one so you know it'd be nice to get a few more states under there uh, no more states have added to the mandatory mask wearing number so we're still at 31 so I'm not putting any slide up for that today um, weather today is going to be 90 degrees 32 degrees centigrade and we're expecting a storm or two this afternoon we're going to get up to 93 and then back down to 90 through the next 10 days um, Storm Gonzalez has now disappeared. It did go off the coast of Venezuela and now it's no more, so no threat. The Actors' Equity Union, which represents the actors that work for Disney World along all its stage shows in Disney, have now had a go at Disney World saying, you know, it's not allowing its members back with face coverings and they're not being tested for coronavirus either. They've produced a video, um, which is a take on the video that Disney World actually produced itself. So I've got that video in full, it's only 40 seconds, but have a quick look at that and you can uh, see what uh, the Equ Actors' Equity Union think of Disney right now. The availability calendar for Disney Parks now is looking really, really good for uh, theme park ticket guests and resort uh, guests. So it's completely green now, all parks are open every day now until September the 26th, 2021. Additional availability has now been made for uh, annual pass holders that's additional additional availability from the stuff that was happening in earlier in July so obviously they're having trouble filling their allocations and they've given more tickets now to AP holders um, I've got a piece actually that, that talks about who's coming to Orlando and that is the headline for today in the thumbnail who's coming to Orlando um, so I've got a bit that covers that but, and I want to return to that after we get into the news so that uh, they are the headlines for today if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, hit that notification bell and press all. You'll get the news three days a week and then you'll get other videos in the parks and other places. Other than that, um, please do hit the like. The algorithm likes the likes. And if you think somebody else would benefit from viewing the video, please do share it with them. If you came along for the ride on the live stream yesterday, apologies for the glitches with the, with the technical uh, ability on behalf of myself. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it when we did get going. It lasted an hour and 15 minutes, so thanks for everybody for, for taking part in that. Okay, let's get to the news. The number of new cases across the US yesterday was 56,130. That's the lowest since July the 7th. The total number of deaths across the US yesterday was 451, and that's been trending up since July the 6th. Here in Florida yesterday we had 9,344 cases. That's the lowest since July the 14th. Deaths in Florida yesterday totaled 77, and that's been trending up since July the 7th. Florida again ranked number one yesterday in new cases across the US ahead of California, Texas, Louisiana and Tennessee. In Florida, Orange County ranked number six whilst Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach took the top three spots. Looking at the stats, there's been just over 63,000 cases this week with one day to go. That will be the lowest for three weeks unless we get 12,500 or more new cases today. 
Hospitalizations are already at a record this week and deaths will be also if we get 12 or more recorded today. I'm trying to verify the tests from yesterday at 94,700 as that positive rate just looks too low to me. As of this morning we have 1,143 adult ICU beds and 259 paediatric beds for a total of 1,402. That's 130 more than on Saturday. Florida's effective reproduction rate is now 0 0.99, so that's gone up by 0 0.01 since Saturday, but still below 1. There are still 12 states in the US with an R rating of less than 1, and Florida is now 11. The weather for the next 10 days in Orlando is going to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit today, that's 32 degrees centigrade, with thunderstorms this afternoon. It'll get up to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees centigrade later this week, before dropping back down to 90 degrees next Wednesday. Disney World has updated its face mask policy again. Now neck gaiters, open chin triangle bandanas and face coverings containing valves, mesh material or holes of any kind are banned. The Actors Equity Union, which represents the Actors CMs at Disney World, has produced a video aimed at Disney World. The union states that Disney World won't allow performers to wear masks and won't test them for COVID-19. Here is the video that they've produced. Welcome home. Welcome home. Turning to the Disney Parks availability calendar and theme park tickets guests now have full access to all parks up until September 26, 2021. It's the same for Disney Resort guests. The allocation for annual pass holders has been increased again and they now have access to at least one park for the remainder of July. Additional space has also been made available for annual pass holders in August. At least one park is available every day in August for AP holders, but there's no availability in Hollywood Studios on any day in August. All of the weekends in September are now filling up for AP holders, plus Monday the 7th, which is Labor Day. Apart from the 7th, all weekdays have full availability. All of Disney World's dry parks, Universal's parks and SeaWorld's parks are all open, but who's actually coming to visit them? Not all Disney World resorts nor Universal resorts are open currently. Disney Resort guests and one-day ticket holders now have access to every park every day. While there's been increased allocations for annual pass holders, at Universal Parks, where there's no reservation system, only Volcano Bay has reached capacity and that was only on one Saturday. SeaWorld's parks do have a reservation system, but none of them have reached capacity on any day yet. So I want to concentrate today on who's coming to Orlando. Disney World resorts aren't all open and the ones that are aren't full. The Universal resorts aren't full either and not all of them are open either. So who is actually coming to Orlando? We can see now that the availability calendar for Disney is green for resort guests and Disney uh, theme park ticket guests. And now they've allocated even more tickets to annual pass holders. And it looks to me like it's really only the annual pass holders that are propping this thing up completely. Um, so who's coming to Orlando? I don't think many people are. There's still not that many flights coming in. People are driving, but obviously not that many. And maybe those that are have got annual passes and maybe they're staying off-site rather than on-site because of the lack of perks now on-site guests. Um, you know, the parks aren't full at all. You can see from my vlogs and from other people's vlogs that they really are not full at all. The rides are almost walk-ons everywhere um, and it's the same at, at uh, Universal. Um, they don't have a reservation system but they're not fulfilling their allocation it would seem. They're not, they're not at capacity. Only Volcano Bay has been at capacity for one single day and I haven't heard anything from SeaWorld to say that any of its parks or bush gardens have reached capacity either. So it looks like nobody's coming for a good reason. The, the COVID-19 virus is still a deadly virus and people don't want to travel to a place that's the, the epicenter of that virus right now and rightly in my view, rightly. So if you are thinking of coming, really have a good think about why you want to come. Yes, the parks are really nice and quiet at the moment, but there's still no parades, still no fireworks, still no guest, uh, guest and character interaction, no real character dining, there's only two or three, but again, it's socially distanced. And as I say, the resorts aren't the way the resorts were before. So 
um, have a good think about what you want to do if you want to come down here and especially if you're coming from you know, thousands of miles away if you're coming from Canada or, um, or South America or Europe or further afield have a good think about whether you want to do that and if you get the ability to change your your flights and your resort bookings etc please I, I would urge you to do that okay that's it from me today I'll be back on Thursday I have got a video from yesterday's trip to the Apopka Wildlife Drive and for Cracker Barrel for breakfast after that so watch out for that that's probably coming tomorrow so look out for that until Thursday stay safe everybody stay well have a great week and I'll see you then cheers for now bye bye